Hey everyone, welcome back to JD Bots. This is the bot series on Microsoft Bot Framework. And in today's video, we are going to explore sending attachments to the end user. And specifically in today's part, we'll be sending an image attachment to the user. So let's get started. I'll create a new bot. And the template that I'll be choosing will be echo bot. And here, let's name this as attachment bot. And create. All right, so the first task for us will be to convert the bot project to .NET 8. So I'll go to attachment project, right click, click on properties and change .NET 6 to .NET 8. Once that is done, we need to upgrade dependencies to support my .NET 8 version. I'll go to updates and select all packages and update. Once that is done, close the Visual Studio, reopen it. Now you don't see a bonding icon on the dependencies. All right, so let's move to Echo Bot. I'll rename this to Attachment Bot. Okay, that sounds good. So first thing first, let me first modify the welcome message. Hello and welcome to the attachment bot. Type anything to get started. Okay, I'll run this project quickly. Open bot framework emulator. connect the bot and there we have our welcome message hello and welcome to the attachment bot type anything to get started so if i say something it is just going to spawn me back with an echo okay so now let's continue first i'll be collecting the user input Okay, since you already know, always whatever user has written in the chat window that will be coming under turn context activity dot text property. So this you already know from our last part. All right. So once this is done, let's add a switch statement. And this time let's say user input all right so here i have the switch statement with cases image pdf video and the default so whenever user will type something this default message will be executed so what i'll do i'll just command these out just for the time being and rerun this. I'll say hi. And here it responds me back with please type image, PDF or video. Perfect, right? Now, so we'll be starting with an image attachment. We'll be sending an image attachment to the end user. And there are multiple ways of sending an image attachment. First, an image is present on your local computer that you can send. An image which is on the internet, you can send. So these two ways you can send an image attachment. Okay. Now, since I said there are two ways of sending an image attachment. The first is 
you can send an inline attachment which is also called as sending a file which is present on your local machine you can send it to the end user second you can send an internet attachment that is an url based okay now let's continue i'll uncomment this out send image async let's create this method So this one is internet attachment. Okay. So let me get an image and replace this with a URL from the internet. Let's say chatbot. Let's send this as an attachment. Okay. So that's a JPEG. And the name is chatbot.jpg. Okay. This is an optional property. This is a required property. What is the content type? And this is a content URL. Perfect. So this is how you draft a reply. Basically create an activity. And once you create an activity, you can send that activity here. So in our last videos, we have seen message factory dot text. But now this is message factory dot attachment. Okay. And we are creating a new attachment and name. That's an optional you can specify or you can leave it blank then we have content your type what is the type of the attachment and we have the content URL okay let's quickly see this in action let's say hi first I'll say image and there we have the image perfect so this is the one that you have an inter internet image, internet attachment, you can send it as an image. Okay, that's the one way of doing. You can click on this and you can see what all properties are there inside this attachment. Since we sent one attachment, that is why you are saying one item. Basically, you can send multiple attachment in a single activity as well as a carousal. You can send it as a carousal as well, multiple attachments. Okay, so here you can see content type, content URL, and the name. Everything is coming up here. Okay, so this is a web chat interface. So you have everything, all the JSON, all the chat window taken care for you. Let's suppose in future, if you want to integrate with direct line channel for better security, then you need to understand the JSON very carefully because uh, what happens bot will send you this json and you need to adapt this json manually or you need to parse this json correctly to show the messages on the window so if you create a custom chat window chat interface then when bot framework will send you this json you need to read this json and take the actions accordingly okay so that's the one way sending an internet att attachment so now let's send the other way around okay so now what i'll do i'll send a message here here's an image for you from the internet okay now i'll get the image from the local machine before that i'll get an image downloaded first what i'll do i'll just get an image from my desktop or pictures somewhere it should be there i think this is good you know or maybe map of the world that's the best one i can get so what i'll do 
I'll add the images here in my www dot www root folder. Okay. Perfect. Now send local image image path okay current directory and that will be it's getting the images from resources so let's try to get it from resources resources let's see what happens copy okay now image data new attachment send image this is an image for you from local file system okay so now let's see what happens I'll say hi to the bot image there we have the image perfect right so you can see the attachments zero and here is the image data and this is a content URL this will be base 64 image content and everything will come here basically we are what we are doing here let's see the code so first we are getting the image path we are constructing the image path by concatenating by combining the current directory with resources and with the name of the file then we are reading the file converting to base64 string and that's my image data next we are constructing the reply basically creating an attachment similarly how we done here but here it, in this case it will be the content URL will be this format if you have a PNG image just replace with PNG okay and that is all here you have the image data and this is how you send the image and that's all here this is how you can send an image to the end user by having the internet image or by having the local image okay so that is all here in our next videos we'll go with video audio so these two options we'll go with okay all right see you in the next video thanks everyone